Boom, that's one pancake down. I think the fourth one might be the best looking. These are definitely gonna be my thickest pancakes yet. Just the batter itself is pretty thick. What's going on everybody, it's Jack. Welcome back to this week's video. Today I'll be eating pancakes all day. Some protein, some not. To start with, we're gonna do banana pancakes. No protein added. It is essentially two ingredients, but I subbed out one egg for serving egg whites just to add a little bit more protein into it. But for every banana you have, it should be about two eggs. So we're gonna do two bananas, three eggs, one serving of egg whites. And then this is just additional flavoring. This is some cinnamon sugar, some vanilla extract, and some baking powder to help the pancake essentially like become fluffy. But first things first, we're gonna mash up the bananas, add the eggs, egg whites, all the good stuff, and we'll throw it on the pan. We've got our batter here the bananas, eggs, egg whites. One thing we wanna make sure that the yolk of the eggs is totally mixed in and the bananas are pretty much not clumpy anymore. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna whisk it for a little bit. We're gonna make sure that there aren't any clumps. You can see there's still clumps in there. So we're gonna whisk it for a minute and then also make sure your bananas are pretty ripe. The riper they are, the sweeter they are and the easier they are to mash and mix. Now that we've got our pancake mixture down, we're gonna take a pan, throw it on the stove, put it at medium. We wanna make sure the pan is relatively hot so when we pour the mixture, it's a little bit runny. Obviously, there's not too much uh, flour or oats in there. So we wanna make sure it cooks rather than it just becomes liquid and spreads out across the entire pan. And then we've got a little bit of olive oil spray to help it cook. Once the pan's relatively hot, we'll turn it down to like a medium low just to let it continue to heat up slightly. Hit it with our olive oil spray and get some batter down. And then it's just about one to two minutes aside, flip it, and then they're done. Boom, that's one pancake down, and you'll just repeat the process for the rest of your batter. Pancakes are done. They might not be the prettiest in the world, but they do all right. Next thing we're gonna do is you can pretty much add toppings, whatever you want. I'm gonna be adding Greek yogurt, or at least one cup of Greek yogurt, and then some blueberries. You can also do sugar-free syrup, um, butter, whatever you really want. As far as macros go for this entire meal, including the toppings, it is 550 calories, it is 66 grams of carbs, 15 grams of fat, and 39 grams of protein. Most of the protein obviously coming from this and the eggs. We're gonna top this and then we're gonna dig in. set of pancakes, one down for the day. Overall, they're pretty good. As far as satiation, they're definitely filling for 550 calories. I'm definitely full right now. Super easy to make. You need to mash bananas, crack two eggs, and add a couple of little things to seasoning. Overall, they don't cook like regular pancakes. You have to be very careful when you cook them. I did burn one side of mine. Just got a little distracted. Otherwise, pretty solid pancakes all around, and I'll show you guys at the next round of pancakes. We're back for round two of protein pancakes. This time we've got a little bit more complicated recipe. I'll throw up all the ingredients and the amounts on the screen, but it's gonna be 100 grams of flour, 50 grams of protein powder of your choice, like two grams of baking soda, a little bit of vanilla extract for taste, 100 grams of egg whites, 100 milliliters of almond milk, and 150 grams of Greek yogurt. I went with vanilla, just a plain flavor. You can always throw in any flavor you want, peach, strawberry, whatever. This is what I'm rocking with. Um, so yeah, let's put it together and get it mixed up. And we got our scale because we're measuring everything, being accurate. Once again, we got our pan over medium low heat. This time we're gonna use butter instead of the olive oil spray. It's a few more calories. What I do is just take a stick of butter, just like that, and you're just gonna have it on here, and you're just gonna run it one circle, just cover. And then boom, just like that. The first pancake might come out a little burnt, like it's gonna be spotted, but the second and third should be perfect. See, I said the first one might not be perfect. Cooked well, but it's got like some spots on it, obviously, but that's just from the butter. The second one will be a lot better. You can see the second one has a much better distribution of color and consistency. And then third time, it's always the charm. 
I mean, come on, look at that. That's near perfect. And we've got enough batter for one more pancake. So this recipe makes four decent sized pancakes. These are the sizes so far on a plate. So they're pretty big. I think the fourth one might be the best looking, but we need to rearrange it because obviously pancake stack is big on the bottom and works your way up. But I'll plate these. We're gonna throw a little bit of bacon on top and then some syrup. and our second set of pancakes is served. I'll read off the macros real quick. This batch, they made about four very large pancakes with some bacon and syrup included in the macros. It is 896 calories, 112 grams of carbs, 13 grams of fat, which is pretty much no fat, and 77 protein. I think this is one of the best recipes out there for protein pancakes. Topped it with some bacon, obviously so good. A little bit more savory than sweet this time, some syrup on top and yeah we're gonna dig into this and then we've got one more meal it's gonna be like dessert flavored pancakes but obviously still protein pancakes we're gonna add some cocoa make them a little chocolatey other than that i'm gonna take you guys through my cardio as well as a physique update in a little bit once i eat this let it settle and then i'll do my cardio do a physique update all that good stuff we are yeah into the second month of my cut did all of may on a cut june is currently june 8th today so yeah i've been about five weeks in my cut. I'll show you guys the progress so far, all that good stuff, but yeah, let's dig in. I mean, that's just perfect. I'm gonna see if I can give you guys a cross section. Boom. That's actually unreal. And the bacon's a little crispy, so there's a little crunch to it. That's so good. I've actually never done bacon on pancakes until today. I was gonna do sausage for a second, but Bacon was 100% the right move. That was honestly insanely good. I can't believe I've gone my entire life without putting bacon on pancakes. That was the best thing I've ever had in relation to pancakes and mixing something else. Yeah, fruit's good other toppings, maybe whipped cream, that kind of thing. Chocolate chips even. Bacon is the move. I'm telling you, if you haven't done it before, try it, let me know. I don't think I could ever eat pancakes any other way ever again. That's ridiculous, but <laughs> super excited I just discovered that for no reason. I pretty much like wanted bacon. I wanted something a little bit more savory than sweet, and that was perfect. I cannot believe it. All right, well, regardless, I'll catch you guys when I'm doing my cardio and a physique update in about an hour or so. I know the cicadas are really loud right now, so I'll do my best to talk over them, but I'm gonna hop on the bike, do my cardio. Typically, I do do my cardio immediately after my weight training session, but lately, I've actually been enjoying the humidity we have. It helps me sweat. I'm gonna hop on the bike. I'm doing about 30 minutes now, three to four times a week. Kind of depends on what I eat throughout the week. If I have a busy week otherwise, or I have volleyball once or twice a week, all that kind of stuff. But right now, 30 minutes. We're gonna knock it out real quick and then I'll do a physique check and go over a little bit more of my diet and my cut so far. Alrighty, we just finished up the bike ride. We did 30 minutes, burned 214 active calories, 263 calories total, an average heart rate of 116 beats per minute. Pretty lackadaisical bike ride, nothing too crazy, just a constant pace the entire time. And now we'll do a quick physique check. And I'm just a little sweaty after that bike ride, but it is humid, like I said. Alrighty. So, currently weighing in around 171, 72 pounds on my cut. Down about eight pounds since the start. It's been, what now, like five weeks or so. So front. Come back in a little bit. The legs out a little bit. I did have leg day earlier today. Went well. Let's see what we got. Hope you guys can see that. Not too bad. Trying to get a little bit more definition in those guys. So 
biggest thing I tend to hold my fat like in this strip right here. So when this definition starts to come in, like these lines, I know I'm getting a little bit leaner. Then these start to come in, hips a little bit. All that good stuff. In the back. Yeah, so that's what the cut's looking like. Decent. Got some triceps. Coming in nicely. Yeah, so pretty much, I definitely see some more definition in like the shoulders, the definition of the changes in muscle groups, so like shoulder, bicep, tricep veins. We got a little bit leaner. We just still definitely have at least, I'd say maybe seven, eight pounds to go. As a whole, pretty pleased so far. Work on the backings too a little bit. Let's see if we can pull one of those real quick. So yeah, that's the physique so far. Like I said, sitting around 171, 72 pounds in the morning. Currently at 2,400 calories. Cardio, 30 minutes three to five times a week. It really just depends on my activity outside of the gym, outside of the cardio that I do. But yeah, so far so good. And then I'll check with you guys at the last meal of the day, our dessert pancakes. I think they're gonna be phenomenal. It's a new recipe I'm trying out, so yeah, we'll see how they go. We are on to our third and final batch of pancakes for the day. A different recipe, slightly different than the second one at least. It is less flour, no almond milk, eggs, instead of egg whites, but it's gonna be two eggs, 80 grams of Greek yogurt, 55 grams of flour, 40 grams of protein powder, some vanilla extract, cocoa powder, and then we're gonna add some chocolate chips into the batter when we cook them, and then strawberries for toppings, as well as syrup. But first things first, let's go ahead and make the batter and baking powder. Like I said, the last ingredient are some chocolate chips. We're gonna do two servings, or what is that, 28 grams. So we're gonna drizzle these in. Boom, just like that. These are definitely gonna be my thickest pancakes yet. Just the batter itself is pretty thick, but pretty excited to make these. So I'm not gonna bore you guys with another making pancakes. We're just gonna skip ahead to the final product. See you then. All right, we are on the third and final meal of the day. We've got another stack of pancakes, chocolate pancakes, if you can't tell, with some strawberries and syrup on top. For this entire meal, including the chocolate chips in the pancakes, the strawberries, and the syrup, it is a total of 785 calories, 98 grams of carbs, 21 grams of fat, and 54 grams of protein. Overall, that brings our total of the day to 170 grams of protein, 275 grams of carbs and only 49 grams of fat. All in all, pretty good day. Not that I wanna say it's easy to just eat pancakes all the time, but you can definitely make it work. So yeah, we're gonna dig into these. And the strawberries are an illusion. This is not all pancakes. There's like a strawberry per level, but we're gonna cut into this. It literally tastes like dessert, but as cool as this tower is, I'm gonna have to break it apart into two halves because it just makes it easier to eat that way. Something about the combination of strawberry and chocolate, just delicious. I'd say the second pancakes are my favorite. I think a combination of their little bit more flour in them, so they rise a little bit more, taste more like pancakes, and also just the bacon. I don't know, bacon's so good. And then throw on top of pancakes, I don't know, whatever it is. That second meal is definitely my favorite. Close second here, and I'd say the banana pancakes in the morning were my third favorite. Anyways, that was a day of eating protein pancakes. Well, I guess the morning weren't really protein pancakes, but regardless, a day of eating pancakes with some 
pancakes that had protein in them complete. Otherwise, I might make this a series. We'll do like, I'm trying to think what else we can do, like sandwiches, subs, something like that. We could do tacos. We could do pizza. We could do all kinds of stuff. But I'll do a full day of eating and then everything I'll do to make it fit my macros. So I'll do like healthy pizza, healthier tacos, healthier sandwiches, all that kind of stuff that'll help me fit my macros, but still kind of fun with eating that day. Because otherwise I'm sticking to pretty much the same thing day in and day out. I have a few changes here and there and I'll update you guys on my diet when I do make those. I'll wrap up the video here. Thanks for tuning in guys. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys next week. Peace.